Welcome back to the Fragrance Fraternity, everybody. Thanks for spending some of your day with me today. I appreciate you being here. I had a viewer request a video about Banana Republic fragrances, so that's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about five of my favorite Banana Republic fragrances. But before we jump into that, guys, I just wanna let you know, in life, you gotta just keep going. Sometimes you may need a break, sometimes you gotta take a rest, and it's okay, it's okay to reset. But eventually, eventually you have to get up and you have to keep going, you have to keep moving forward because that's ultimately what's gonna get you to your goal, what's gonna make you feel the most accomplished and fulfilled. Uh, just don't give up, right? You can take a break, take a nap if you need to, take a few days off, do whatever you gotta do, but eventually you have to keep going. So that's part of what I'm doing with this fragrance channel is I wanna see how far I can push this, how far can I take this channel, how many days can I consistently post a video I'm really trying to see where I can go with this and how far I can go with something that I'm, I guess, passionate about, something that I enjoy speaking about and see how far I can take it. But I can't do it by myself. This is a community and I'm, I'm no one without an audience to speak to. So please take a second, hit that subscribe button so that the algorithm can push my content towards you because otherwise I'm just here talking to myself at my phone with nobody listening, right? So if you enjoy my vibe, my energy, the things that I'm speaking about, please hit that subscribe button. It keeps me motivated to keep going and making more. So with that out of the way, let's talk about these Banana Republic fragrances. This first one is gonna be Black Walnut Legend. So this one is gonna hit my number five spot because it is a clone of Creed Aventus and it's a pretty good clone. It's a pretty good clone. It's a little different than Mont Blanc Explorer or Club de Nuit Intense Man. I think this one goes on a bit more of the smokier uh, vibe so it captures the smokiness of Aventus pretty well but it kind of misses out on that pineapple citrus freshness uh, that like an explorer features more prominently than this one however it is a good Aventus clone Aventus is not my favorite favorite fragrance DNA so that's why I don't have a whole bunch of clones of it and uh, this one works really well for me whenever I feel like wearing something that smells like Aventus or I just want to refresh my memory on what Aventus kind of smells like I can get a little taste of it with Black Walnut Legend. You can get this for an affordable price and it does pop up at Ross a lot. So Black Walnut Legend is a pretty good Aventus clone alternative. The next one is gonna be Cypress Cedar. This is gonna be coming in at the number four spot. This is from their Icon line. And the next uh, two are also from their Icon line. So this one gives me strong similarities to Terra de Hermes because it has a bitter orange note in there as well as a really prominent cedar. And in the dry down in the mid, that cedar is what you're gonna predominantly smell. The opening does have a little bit of a mint zest, but for those of you who know, mint tends to fade pretty quickly in fragrances, but it does provide a nice little pop there in the opening. It has vetiver, uh, which also brings into that similarity to the Terra de Hermes line and the bitter orange. Uh, overall, it's a very masculine fragrance, pretty well done here. It does smell more luxurious, more upscale, more mature than any of the other ones that we're gonna talk about here. The sweetness is coming from that bitter orange, which may not appeal to everybody. And it's not an overly sweet fragrance. It does tend to go more in the woody, I'd say a bit aromatic direction. So if you are a fan of more woody fragrances and that's something that you really enjoy, you enjoy the cedar wood, this is probably gonna be, gonna be one that's gonna be at the top of your list as far as these icon uh, Banana Republics go. So this one's definitely worth checking out. I know for a lot of people it's their favorite in the line, Cypress Cedar. The next one is at the number three spot. We're talking about Grassland. Now I've heard online that this one is very similar to Green Irish Tweed. I've only smelled Green Irish Tweed once or twice so I can't really comment on the similarities uh, but you do get a green grassy note here that is obviously going to be prominent in the Green Irish Tweed as well. Very grassy, very minty but very fresh as well. The only knock I have on this one is that the performance is not great. It doesn't last a super long time. And I wore this one at the mall the other day and I could just tell that the other scents around me were just taking it over. I couldn't pick it up. The smell of the food in the mall and all the different smells from the different shops or whatever that were floating around, they kind of overpowered this one. So this one I would say use it if you're gonna be in an indoor type of a situation in a climate control type situation. I wouldn't suggest you using this one outside because it's gonna disappear pretty quickly. But as far as the fragrance itself, it's really excellent. I really like enjoying uh, green grassy type fragrances and this is right, right what this is. 
it does have a little bit of a like an aftershave mintiness type of vibe to it it it's going to hit a wide range of people that can use it it's not overly mature but it's not overly youthful either it's right there in the middle so i think the uh, age range that people can use this would be very very wide and for that reason it's excellent i think green fragrances are kind of making a comeback lately so this one could be a good one to pick up if you're going to be in an inside environment or like maybe you want to use it at the office or something i think it's gonna be really good for that situation or maybe just around the house if you enjoy uh, grassy green fragrances with a little bit of mint i do like this bottle coloration it definitely stands out from everything else uh, not a lot of bottles featuring this kind of like turquoise i guess light turquoise i'm not sure how you would describe this color but yeah uh cool color on the bottle and the scent itself is pretty pleasant just Unfortunately, not the super long, longest lasting, you know, Beast Mode performer. So the number two in the spot is going to be Metal Rain. I really, really like this one. And it gives me similarities to Silver Mountain Water with a little bit of Millicene Imperial in there as well. You do get a little bit of that saltiness from Millicene Imperial in Metal Rain. And it's at my number two spot. I really love to just go off on this one. This is one that you can definitely overspray and just kind of bask in that sillage. It's ultra fresh. It's like a vacation type of a smell. It's a summer banger. This is definitely gonna be in my summer list once I start working on that. Um, yeah, it gives those similarities to the Creed fragrances, but at a fraction of the cost. And overall, the, the blend is really good on this one. I get about, I get a, I would say average performance on this one. So about what you'd expect from a fresh fragrance. And it's going to be very mass appealing and very versatile. So you could use this in pretty much every situation. It's fresh enough to even wear something like this to the gym, or you could also pull this off in a more uh, formal situation, or you could also pull this off if you're just hanging out at the beach, if you're on vacation or something like that. So the versatility is off the chain with this one, very mass appealing. You're going to get a lot of compliments, positive attention with this one because it's so refreshing, so summery, so airy, uh, really beautiful, similar to uh, Virgin Island water, mainly Silver Mountain Water with a touch of the saltiness of Millicium Imperial in there. Really love that one. That is probably my favorite from the Icon line uh, that I own purposely. So my last one, which is gonna be the number one, you guys hear me talk about this one before, if you've been around on this channel at all. This is Banana Republic Slate Arctic. So this one is a lavender forward fragrance. Has some similarities to Invictus Aqua, but I don't, I don't think it's got the same bubblegum sweetness as the Invictus line. It's more of like a lavender sweetness and it does have some smokiness I've noticed from something like an Aventus. Now it doesn't smell anything like Aventus, but if you just took the smokiness from Aventus and you mixed it with Invictus Aqua and you dialed up the lavender note, this is what you'd get. This is a really good performer. This is going to be the best performer out of everything on the list. Uh, I get over eight hours on this, especially if you put it on your clothes, it'll be on your clothes for over a week. You have to really like lavender for uh, lavender as a note, and I really like lavender as a note, especially in the evening time when you want something a little bit sweeter. This is going to be a great choice, great bang for your buck. I think I got this in around the thirty dollar price point. This is an eau de parfum concentration, hundred milliliter. I like these bottle presentations. I think they're a little bit unique, and they also look very classy. So slate arctic. No one talks about this one except for me and a couple of other people that I've noticed. And I can't really find the notes on Fragrantica because it is a newer release, but if you see it, it out and about, or if you see it on a discounter site and you can get it for a decent price, I think it's really good picking up if you enjoy lavender forward fragrances with really good performance, Banana Republic Slate Arctic. So that's it. That's the five I have for you today from the Banana Republic line. Like uh, someone commented and requested that I do. So I did this video and I read your comments and let me know what, other videos or what other topics that you want me to discuss or go into and i'd be happy to bring them up and talk about them here happy to speak about anything really so maybe if you have some outside the box kind of questions for me i'd be happy to answer those too anyways i appreciate you spending some of your day with me hope everyone has a great day is feeling good today taking care of themselves and is spreading the right kind of energy into the world and also smelling great with one of these banana republic fragrances have a great day everybody and we'll see you on the next one